What is up, players? It's Wolboss Tay up in Shmuel. Today we're gonna do a little bit of a uh, product review. And the product we are reviewing is one of Games Workshop's um, technical products, which is Imperial Primer. So I have with me here Imperial Primer. There you go. Look at it. Oh, let's focus, focus, focus. There we go. So I have with me here four models. A fine cast ogre man eater, a chaos warrior in plastic, a resin forge world death core of Krieg commissar, and a metal spine tail warlord spine tail model. So you might kind of guess what I'm going to be doing with all four of these models. I'm going to be using the imperial primer and hand priming all of these models and then kind of we'll take a look at what what it looks like while I'm priming it we'll kind of figure out you know is it easy to use is it hard to use um, and then of course what what the finished product is going to look like so I'm looking through the how to paint citadel miniatures book the new one and it says that um, you use this imperial primer when uh, conditions are such that it's not good to use them. It's not, um, it's not optimal to spray prime your models. Like if it's raining outside, if it's too muggy or whatever. So sometimes you want to hand prime your models. So this is what you use. So it says to mix it up with a little bit of water. But I'm going to shake it first and get it all mixed up. But then it says you basically just add a little bit of water to it and then paint it on with a wash brush. I don't have a wash brush, but I have a base coat brush, which is almost the same thing. It's um, one of the bigger headed brushes. So I'm gonna put some on my brush, dip it into water, and let's start with this Plastic Chaos Warrior. So immediately you'll notice that it's very glossy like the um, old Chaos Black but it goes right on. No problem. One of the things I was worried about was that it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't stick to certain types of materials like plastic or metal or fine cast or the, the Forge World resin, but it seems to be going on pretty nicely. The thing with glossy paint, which you'll notice for those of you who use a lot of the old Chaos Black or Abaddon Black, is that um, it's hard to tell when your models got the, the, the color on it because sometimes the reflection messes with you, makes you think that you've painted in a certain area when really um, the reflection is just actually some part of the model that hasn't been primed yet. That's happened to me when I used to hand prime with just Chaos Black before I realized, oh, you should really use a, a primer that's meant to to be used on models. Um, and I hand, hand paint them all in Chaos Black. And then when it dried, because the glossiness kind of fades when it's dry, I saw that I had missed, missed um, a bunch of details in the model, so... Basically, it, yeah, it looks just like the old Chaos Black. Let's see once it's dry. Alright, so there's our Chaos Warrior. I'm going to move on to the next model. Let it, put that on the side, let it start drying. We'll attack the big Ogre, ogre Man Eater. Now, just like the, um, oh, look at this, it doesn't really like to stick to the surface. It's 
So when you see it kind of um, move around like this on the surface, it could mean that the uh, resin is not still has some of that uh, releasing agent, the mold releasing agent on it, in which case you really should um, put it under a faucet and some warm water and soap. And just scrub that sucker until um, until you know for like a couple minutes until that stuff is brushed off. And that might be what needs to happen here. I've never the thing is though I, I usually don't wash my um, models, my, my fine cast models and they usually turn out fine cast. Um, when I once I prime them, but this one definitely looks like the primer is not sticking to it at all. I don't want to say at all, but if if I'm putting it on thinly, it starts to like move around. So definitely different than the plastic. The plastic, this primer just went right on no problems, and this one, it's being kind of stubborn. See, when you come back to the front, there's already places where the primer has started to move around on. So now you know, if you ever want to hand prime, a uh, fine cast model, the best bet is to make sure you wash it first with some warm water and hand soap. Otherwise you see how the, the paint just kind of, it doesn't go where I, where, where I paint it on. And that could be because I'm also, the book says you have to cut it with some water, but look at that, you, you paint it on and then it just immediately moves, moves around on the model. So the fine cast definitely not liking the Imperial Primer. Yeah, look at this. Oh. It's like um oil. See, and all the primer that I painted down here is already starting to move around. This is just really, really not good. The duplicate color color primer that I use, the gray color primer for my models, that sprays on. It's matte. It um, it sticks immediately. It doesn't leave. It doesn't uh, move around like this at all, and um, it's so much faster. So I don't see when hand priming is ever going to beat out on it. Like my my view of this product right now is not very high because look at all this extra work that I'm putting in when I could have just taken my model outside and sprayed it. But in the interest of science and in doing a proper review, I will continue. It's at this point now where the glossiness starts to mess with your eyes and makes you see um, the reflection kind of makes you see different different areas that like fool you into thinking that oh it's the primer is on it it's just really shiny when in actuality no the primer is moved around and you have to go back.
Yep, very disappointed in the way this is working out. But the good thing is that with the Deathcore Commissar model that I'm about to do this to, uh, I did actually wash that and uh, put soap on it and scrub it. So once we get to that, that should be no brainer. That one should hopefully not be as bad as this. Hopefully it'll work a lot better like with the Chaos Warrior. And yeah, look at look at this. This is just a big, a big mess. I could be doing it wrong too. If any of you out there who have and who use the Imperial Primer to great greater success than I can, um, please let me know what I'm doing wrong. I'm mixing it with water, like Citadel Powder Paint Citadel Major says. Not all the time, but. Um, it doesn't really seem to be making much of a difference when I do. I'm just not feeling this primer and look, it's getting all over, all over my little table here. Feeling it. Okay, that's as good a job as I can do right now, um, and it's still not very good. I see some of the primer just moving around, continuing to just separate and just kind of mess up the surface area. So, you know what, we're just gonna let that sit there and not even worry about it. We're gonna move on to our spine tail. Now, this Warlord spine tail model I got um, last year sometime. And so it was back when Games Workshop did metal. It was right around the time Island of Blood was released. Of course, because it's one of the special characters. So, I don't know if the new Imperial Primer is meant to work on metal because I believe it came out after, like with the new range, yeah, after, which is so many months, almost a year, after Finecast was released. So, we'll see how it works. Right off the bat, it looks like it's working pretty well on the metal. A lot better than the plastic, uh, the resin. I mean, almost, almost just like the plastic. It's working really well so far, and I'm doing everything the same, dipping it a little bit into some water, and then just letting it kind of go over the surfaces and go wherever it can. So that's kind of funny because the uh, the primer works better on metal, which is now obsolete with all of Games Workshop's products. Works better on the metal than it does on the fine cast, which is supposed to be, you know, the best thing to ever happen to modeling and sculpting and stuff ever. yet it doesn't really go on stick to the fine cast very much at all compared to the plastic compared to the metal we'll see how it does with the, uh, the resin from Forge World that I think is going to be the real test also but for for metal it seems to work pretty well doesn't separate, doesn't 
um, do all of that messy stuff it did with the fine cast. And it's still wet and glossy, so I can't really tell, but it looks like it is... It has gone into all of the, the cracks and the crevices and the recesses really nicely. Okay, and last but not least, we've got our Death Corps of Krieg Commissar. So let's put our other models aside and we'll see. Maybe it's just resin and resin-like materials that this primer does not like. Because keep in mind, like I said, I did wash the mold agent, the release agent, off of this. Scrubbed it with a toothbrush and some um, soap and warm water. And first impressions is that immediately it seems to be sticking better. Back here where I probably didn't get with the toothbrush as well, it seems to be a little bit like it's separating, but let's check how it works on the outside of this great coat. And it seems to be doing some some funny business on the outside as well. So it looks like just resin, resin and um, resin-like materials. The primer does not seem to want to stick to or adhere to very much. See how it's kind of separating kind of separating a little bit when I'm done painting it and move on to another area, it kind of, right there, kind of separates. So I spent a good like five minutes watching this one guy just so that there would be a difference um, between him and the man-eater, besides the fact that the resin, I think is, I believe is different that they use for fine cast and, and Forge World stuff, but I thought, oh, maybe if I wash it, it'll make a difference. And it seems like it doesn't, it looks like the primer just does not want to stick to resin. Which is unfortunate because, like I said, that's kind of like the direction Games Workshop is going in. And that's pretty much Forge World's, you know, entire stock is this kind of resin stuff. So if you can't hand prime it with this, maybe there are other hand primers out on the market, but this is definitely not going to make you happy if you are a Forge World collector or if you have lots of fine cast. See, look at that. The cloak. It's already uh, separating on the cloak. So just to be fair, I'm just going going over this entire guy with one thin coat, and we'll see how much it separates and how bad it is. We'll give it some time to dry, and then we'll go back to the first model to see how it's holding up. All right, so my Chaos Warrior here, the first one looks. Amazing! It almost looks like it's almost dry, and um, except for the few recesses in his coat back here, or cloak, it looks like it's almost just about dry, and that is really fantastic. I mean, I um, I hit stop on the recorder, but I didn't really wait or get up and do anything. I just uh, cleared my camera disc and then started shooting again, and it looks like it is almost dry. On plastic, this hand primer works amazingly well. So, plastic A+. Now let's go to fine cast. Still drying. Back up here, it's separated. Moved around on the, on the resin. It just looks like a big, shiny mess right now because I had to put so much into it. And there are still areas like on the top of the hammer here, all around where this was just too much effort. And uh, for for a finish that it's not even finished drying, and yet it looks just really not that good. So 
um, C minus D plus. For the spine tail metal model, it's still drying, but it looks good. I don't really see any areas that are where, where the where the primer is separated and. Um, you don't see any bare metal underneath, is pretty much what I'm saying. Um, it's still shiny and glossy because it's still drying, but very, very, very much better than the Imperial Maneater. Finally, let's look at our Krieg Boy. After one minute of drying, look at all the separation in the primer. Uh, where you can see the, the resin peeking through underneath. It's very uneven, it's still glossy because it's still drying, but yeah, not very good. So what, what we're going to do now is we're going to let these boys dry just a little bit longer, about half an hour. I'm going to put the lamp right over them and um, play some Max Payne 3. And then when we come back, we will see how they look like after they've had you know, a good half an hour, 45 minutes to dry completely. It looks, and, and like I said, it looks like the cast worry is just about done. Um, so, we'll see you in just a little while with the wrap-up of this review video. Alright, a half an hour later, let's take a look at our guys. Our Chaos Warrior is completely dried and um, looks great. So, with plastic kits, again, the Imperial Primer is A+. Plus. Fantastic, doesn't look glossy, there's no, um, there's no separation of the oil or the um, whatever the combination of chemicals in the, the pr primer is to kind of make it spread all over the place. It looks just fantastic. So again, plastic models, A+. Plus. Metal models, like our old spine tail here, looks really good too. It dried nicely. Um, the glossy finish is gone and we can see all the detail and pick out everything that needs to be picked out when we need to go into painting him. And um, the Imperial Primer looks great on metal as well. I was a little worried about the metal, I have to say, but it, it looks great. <sighs> fine cast on... Uh, not fine cast, but the, the primer on the Forge World resin. There are some spots where it's separated and you can see the resin peeking out from underneath. And remember, this is the resin that I had scrubbed with soap and water to get all the release agent off. So there are points like there on the right side of his mask. Um, they're not that bad though, and going over it one more time with the, the primer should fix all of that. But it's just extra hassle that you know you shouldn't have to go through. The worst part is right there on the great coat. Finally, last and, in my opinion, least impressive of all the, the primer models is this Imperial Maneater. And um, it's not that bad now that the primer has dried, but you can definitely see, like... You can definitely see where the, the primer kind of, the fluid just kind of spread out and separated and um, there are big big places like right there on the hand holding the hammer the hammer itself the feathers uh, it's not as bad as it was when it was still really glossy and really wet because it's it's dried somewhat but the effects so the, so the effects are mitigated but you know just knowing that you have to go back over again with more primer is this kind of disheartening when you know we pay so much for this new fine cast well, I don't even want to say new anymore for this fine cast stuff and it ends up being you know even with this hand primer just very underwhelming which is pretty much my word for anything that's come out in fine cast over the past year. Underwhelming. So there are all things that can be fixed. Um, 
but the fact that you have to go in and fix them with this new product that's supposed to be as easy as add in some water and paint it on is just kind of unfortunate. Uh, it works great for plastic though, which is good because the Games Workshop models more than half are plastic, right? And the fine cast is really reserved for the big pieces, the center pieces, the monsters, or not even, the, I'm sorry, not the monsters, but like the characters and the generals and um, special characters and stuff. So hopefully you won't need to, if you want to prime this way, you won't need to worry about it affecting too much of your models. Um, but yeah, overall, what I want to say, what I want to give to the resin or the primer, just because of how it reacts with the resin, is just a very underwhelming, you know, average C, C grade for overall ease of use. It's pretty easy to use. Uh, you just put some water in it, and then you paint it into onto a model. But it's the actual usage that is. Uh, you know, balanced out by the fact that with some models, like re these resin models, it just doesn't want to do what you want it to. Especially if you don't clean the models, the resin models beforehand by washing it with soap and water. Yep. Oh, all right, my little baby termagant outside says it's time to go. So. Thank you for watching this little product review on the new Imperial Primer by Games Workshop. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some something of use for your own personal hobby and um, happy painting, happy wargaming, and all that good stuff. See you in the next one.